Who said games need to be normal? What's normal anyway? I mean, in Tale Fight 2, you play as an elderly chap who shoots out small animals from his monocle. Not only that, but the story sees you and your friendly dog companion sucked into a strange dimension of evil oddities and beasts. Of course, you're the only one capable of cleaning up the place. The controls are simple enough. The left virtual D-pad controls movement in any direction you like, and the right virtual D-pad allows for shooting in any of the four cardinal directions. You've seen controls similar to this in games like Smash TV, Geometry Wars, and The Binding of Isaac. Tail Fight 2 did originally launch with some teething issues in the controls department. However, these have mostly been ironed out with an advanced control mechanism that allows the user to reposition the controls and activate a floating style where the D-pads will follow the movement of your thumbs. Sounds a bit weird, I know, but it works really well. In saying all of this, it's still much easier to control on a larger tablet device than a phone. As I mentioned earlier, the protagonist shoots animals from his six-shooter monocle. You'll start the game with frog projectiles. These are basic bullets that have no special attributes outside of doing damage. From bears to eagles, pigs to zombies, goats to elephants, each animal you collect throughout your adventure has a unique power that will help you in your mission to rid the world of evil and return to your home world. Each of the animals you collect can also be upgraded by picking up their corresponding augments. These enhance or alter the attributes of the projectiles and mix things up significantly. The number of possible attack types available is quite insane and you'll have loads of fun mixing and matching different types of ammunition to find your ideal loadout. The only downside to all of this is that with all the mayhem going on on screen, it's sometimes difficult to tell exactly what's going on. Being a top-down adventure style game, Tail Fight 2 brings back strong feelings of nostalgia. Traversing over land from map to map will remind old school gamers of the glory days. Its simplicity of control and ease of which the game introduces new mechanics will appeal to new and casual gamers alike. Once you've picked up the boss key, head on over to one of the game's many bosses. All of the target locations are nicely displayed on your mini-map, so getting lost is actually quite difficult. Some of the bosses do provide a challenge, however, others won't give you too much trouble at all. Truth be told, you may have more trouble fighting some of the minion monsters than the bosses themselves. If you do happen to die, you'll lose a little bit of money and be teleported to the very beginning of the game. Fortunately, fast travel portals can be unlocked throughout the game, and these allow you to get back into the action quite quickly. There's nothing particularly impressive with the graphics or sound, and at times the music can be quite annoying, but that doesn't stop this from being one genuinely fun game. The dialogue and gameplay are entertaining in their own right and don't need any bells and whistles to accompany them. Because you have infinite lives and item progression is persistent through death, there isn't too much in the way of replay value to be had. But that's not necessarily what this game's about. Tail Fight 2 is available for iOS and Android. Pick it up and play through a really fun little mobile game. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more great mobile gaming content. This has been Alex for GameMob, that's www.gamemob.com.